are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of February. But listen, don't worry too much about the date because today is the 21st of February. So it's not just for the month of February, but I am performing the reading in February. So I, it's just uh, by default, it's a February reading, but this reading is good for whenever it finds you, regardless of the date, okay? Virgo, let's choose a tarot deck. All right, let's use this one. It's called the Fyodor Pavlov Tarot, if I'm not uh, butchering the title. <laughs> Fyodor Pavlov Tarot. All right. Virgo, how's it going, my dear fellow Earth sign? I have told you guys this before, that I have really grown to to like you, not that I disliked you before, but there's just a, a connection that I've noticed in the recent months that I have developed with my Virgo viewers. I hope you feel the same. <laughs> and uh, I don't really necessarily have a reason for that. It's just kind of happened to where I've really warmed up to you guys or, and what I mean by warming up is that I really enjoy doing your readings. And again, I don't have anybody in my life that is a Virgo. Um, so it's not that. You know what it might be? <clears throat> my North Node in Vedic astrology is Virgo, which makes my South Node a Pisces. And uh, if you know anything about the South Node and the North Node, the South Node is um, your past life, is the early part of your life. It's what comes natural to you. And the North Node is uh, something we could say that it's not necessarily natural, it's not necessarily your first instinct, but it's an energy that you are developing in this lifetime and that you're meant to step into. So it's kind of like uh, the North Node could really, it's really connected to your life purpose. And for the past, it's been very recent, um, no more than a year, guys. Not, it's way, maybe six months or a little more that I've been feeling this connection. And it might be because of that North Node in, in Virgo. So let's see, Virgo, this is your love and relationship reading, which means that for the majority of you, this is going to resonate with you as a love reading. And for the rest of you that are single, for example, or I don't know, maybe your relationship status is a little complicated, whatever, it doesn't matter. This reading is for you too. It's just going to resonate with you in connection to any other relationship you have in your life. For example, this could be about career, it could be about your boss, it could be about a co-worker, it could be about a friend, a friend of a friend, somebody you just met, you don't really know what to call them, a family member, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your son, your daughter, if you have any children, you get my point, just anybody that you are having an exchange with, okay, like right now I'm hearing you're a lawyer, <clears throat> your professor, um, you know, anybody your landlord, okay? <laughs> Let's see, Virgo, what's going on? What's happening with Virgo at this present moment in their relationship? Show me Virgo, what is Virgo up to? What are they doing? What is of most significant Holy Spirit? Let's see, let's see, we're connecting with Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo Collective. Let's see what's going on. We have the star. So look at the star. So this person to me looks like, um, they don't necessarily look sad, but, and then right as soon as I said, I said that I heard they, the, they've been through the sad part already. And I see you at this moment, perhaps, um, I see you at this moment bouncing back. There's a very resilient energy that I'm seeing here with you, my dear Virgo. I see you regaining your hope, maybe a little slow, maybe, you know, it's a, a, a little hard. I'm hearing to 
feel completely optimistic about what's happening. But regardless of what it looks like, okay, Virgo, I feel like you still have faith in yourself, faith in the situation that things will improve. And you're right to feel that way, okay? Because the star says that, one, <clears throat> whatever we have going on, whatever's going on in your life right now in your relationships, it's improving. There, there is uh, progress for sure. Things are getting better. And it also says that you're being spiritually guided at this present moment. So pay attention to what your heart is telling you. Pay attention to those uh, hunches that you're getting, those synchronicities, those uh, signs, okay, that come that seem to come from nowhere. Pay attention because you're receiving a lot of encouragement from spirit at this time, okay? There is also a need not to be afraid of what you're feeling, of your emotions. I don't feel like this is something that you aren't necessarily, you know, aware of. You know, we just have feelings that, and, you know, the thing with feelings is that they're very much often misunderstood. They just feel, you know, like I'm getting like a weird feeling right now that, um, doesn't really have a name and there is a natural tendency to like push that away there's a strong need for you to nurture yourself at this time for you to be patient with yourself because the queen of pentacles is at the bottom and you see how the queen of pentacles has a loaf of bread so this is about making yourself comfortable ensuring that your environment is um, supporting you as well as the people around you, everything around you. So your environment is incredibly significant, guys, because it's, and the reason for that is because it's going to make, depending on what your environmental condition is, it's really going to either support you or not. And that is incredibly important, guys, because I feel like you you need a lot of love and you need a lot of support at this time. This is a great time for you to reach out to any friends or to reach out to anyone that could bring some some love and some comfort into your life this as well i'm hearing could be as simple as cooking yourself something because that is tlc that is tender loving care so this month of february a smell a smell you you, you see that a smell <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny as well <laughs> i'm thinking about that baked bread there what was I going to say? Sorry, I threw myself off. <laughs> I'm such a goofball. Um, is somebody trying to grow their hair, guys? I'm saying that because here we have some very uh, long braids. Anyways, it could be as simple as cooking yourself a nice meal, guys. Yeah, absolutely, because um, that is showing yourself love, guys. That is showing yourself that you care. And that's incredibly important, guys. I mean, not only that those around you show you that they care, but that you, you, you show yourself that you, too, love yourself. And I'm hearing, and then this time around, this month of February, this month of March, or whenever it is that you are listening to this reading, you, you need to know that actions speak louder than words, okay? And that goes for you too and what you tell yourself, okay? This time, this time around, it's not just enough to look in the mirror and say, I love you, although you should be doing that. But it's about showing yourself through action, guys, through gestures, through little things every day, showing your body, okay, because I'm hearing your body, okay, there's something about the senses here about feeling love, feeling cared for. And if you do that, my dear Virgo, you are going to have a lot more success this is the key to success at, uh, right now, guys, with this six of, of wands. 
we have the two of cups at the bottom of the six of wands and then we have the hermit I feel like it's important that you focus not just solely on yourself but that you do direct most of your energy towards your goals what are what what is your goal what are you trying to accomplish what do you want out of your love life what do you want out of your relationships what do you want out of life at this moment do know that your success depends a lot on your emotional physical state those are two things guys you know sometimes it's mental your mental uh like right now i'm getting that i mean there could be you know um mental health is definitely it's always uh important but like a big thing that i'm i'm getting for you right now is just um it's emotional support and if you are having any sort of, of stress, you know, um, anxiety, and we go back to that men mental health there, that providing yourself with emotional support and physically, I'm hearing, taking care of yourself is going to alleviate any of those symptoms there, okay? I mean, because you have, you can do a lot and you have a lot that you want to accomplish. And not only that, that you want to accomplish, guys, that you are accomplishing at this very moment. It's important for you to recognize your achievements because you have achieved a lot, guys. You have. The Six of Wands says that you have. You know, like what I'm seeing right now? I'm seeing somebody sitting down and there's like this board. Is it called a vision board? And um, that vision board is all about you. It, it's all about you. So it's, you know, maybe you want to sit down and you want to write some, you want to write this down. Maybe your accomplishments, uh, something that you're proud of, um, maybe things that you can be grateful for, things that you're doing right. I'm hearing things focus on what you're doing right because you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot that you're supposed to be doing. Now here with this hermit, you see how the hermit is facing down and they're, they're going somewhere. So the hermit is a very solitary energy. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely at this time. Maybe you feel like, you know, maybe you don't have that support or there's just something I'm hearing that you feel is, is missing. Take this time to go within, to go soul searching perhaps, to help you find the answers as to why it is that you feel this way. It could be because of your love life, the condition of your love life. Maybe, you know, you're, um, what, whatever condition your love life is in or a particular relationship in your life is making you feel this way. I feel like love absolutely is incredibly important. Maybe you really, um, are thinking about the the state of your relationships what do you want out of relationships and guys that's not a bad thing i'm hearing don't that's not a bad thing that's act that's actually something very positive that you're doing at this time to examine to take a look i'm hearing at what is working what is not working to look back on certain lessons for sure with this hermit. What have you learned? Maybe sometimes that could be a little uncomfortable, but there is so much to gain and there is so much to learn. Another thing it is that you should know is that you're walking towards a very beautiful relationship at this very moment. And I think you know that because look, this star car says that deep down inside you know that there's something good that's coming you know that it would be foolish for you to lose hope at this time deep down inside 
you know that to be true. Deep down inside, you know that you're going to get through this, that you're going to succeed, that you're going to be proud of yourself, that you're going to accomplish your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, no matter how big or how small. You know that what you're doing at right now, guys, you know that what you're doing right now is going to pay off. And you're right to feel that way, guys. Now, sometimes, you know, taking care of uh, certain things in our lives, you know, requires for us to step away a little bit from from the world maybe it could feel like. But again, listen to me, that's, that's, not, that's not a bad thing, guys. That um, is something very healthy that you need. Now the crow is significant. There's a crow on this woman's shoulder. So, the crow guys i associate the crow with like the hair font energy it reminds me a lot of the hair font so there's a, a lot of knowledge that you have there is um so think i'm hearing right now tell virgo to think about themselves as a book that they need to read that's what i'm hearing tell virgo that they are a book that they have to read and in reading this this book they're going to gain so much knowledge that is going to be very useful for them in their relationships, in their love life, and in their life in general on this journey that they're on at this present moment. <clears throat> so this also says that you're learning a lot about yourself. Not that you didn't know yourself before, but listen, we change. People change. It, that's part of life, that is growth. So you're doing a lot of uh, growth and sometimes growth can be a little uncomfortable. Like I'm thinking about growing pains. And there is something so beautiful that you have been cooking up guys, okay? You see this queen of pentacles, that's you. You've been cooking up. All this uh, time, energy, okay, that you've been investing that maybe, you know, has taken a little longer than you expected to turn out, maybe. <sighs> but it really hasn't. You know, there's some things that appear to take longer than usual, but it only appears that way. Some things take, I don't even want to say longer. So, uh, there's everything has its due time guys like think about this bread you can't stick a bread you know dough in the oven and put it there for five minutes and say it's done like no everything has its due process everything happens at the right time and that's what we have going on here guys everything is going to happen at the right time so it's not that it's taking longer it's just that what you want what you're looking for what is good for you <clears throat> takes I'm hearing this 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 amount of time and it's not about it taking longer it's just I'm hearing the natural uh, way of, of things it's the natural nature I'm hearing and then here we have the queen of cups I thought it was the empress it's not the empress it's the queen of cups look at how beautiful this card is so this is about birthing guys you're birthing at this time. So that goes like with what I was telling you guys. Nine months, you know, like a baby, a baby uh, full carrying a baby full term is nine months, isn't it? So we go back to that, what I, that example that I gave you guys. You just can't stick um, um, a dough inside the oven and expect it to be ready in five minutes. I'm here. You can take it out, but you're not going to like the way that it, uh, you're not going to like it. So however that resonates, guys, 
This is a, a, very, a very vital time in your life, okay, that you are going to look back on and see differently than, than uh, how you're seeing it now. That's why the hangman is here. You know, you know what the purpose of this hangman is, guys? This hangman is divine. It truly is. Maybe it doesn't feel like it because it makes you feel stuck. You feel like um, there's, there's, just, there's just something and you can't really put your finger on it. And the thing with the hangman is that everything, it feels like everything around you stops. But there's a purpose for that, guys, because there's something that you're having to see. Maybe it's a particular pattern that you have. Maybe it's about somebody in your life. It's about something that has been perhaps happening for a long time or happening, okay, for however long. Something that is uh, real active, okay? Not really active, but it's real. And it's also active happening around you that requires for things to slow down. <sighs> so that you are able to identify it and see it. But sometimes I'm hearing that might feel like an attack. What am I doing wrong? Or why is this taking so long? Or why is this happening? Or like maybe, you know, the hangman, it can feel like a delay. I'm hearing, but it's just the, the process of expanding your consciousness like right now like i'm seeing i'm seeing something spin and you know when something spins really fast um uh, it uh it it kind of looks like light doesn't it like think about something spinning uh you know uh, it, as it spins, you, you all you see is color, we can say. All you see is the color of it. I'm here, but if you slow down, if you slow down time, you're able to see. You're, you're, you're able to uh, make out what it is. I mean, so that's what's happening right now, guys. It's about, for sure, gaining a different perspective seeing something that uh, it's not that you didn't see it before but that you're having to understand perhaps and take in in a different way now okay with the seven of swords it says that it says a couple of things it says that that process there okay might be avoided <laughs> it might be avoided because that's the seven of swords. The seven of swords is a very avoidant energy, okay? Now, this again could be something that you are avoiding, you know, a certain feeling, something about yourself, um, you, uh, about a relationship. It could be about another person. We have the 10 of swords. With the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords being here, guys, I feel like there is something that you have either consciously or not avoided. Maybe I'm hearing it's not you. Sometimes is other people, okay, that... Um, I'm hearing play tricks that create illusions because the seven of swords can do that, especially with the 10 of swords being there. So you see that seven of swords is a very sneaky energy. So for a couple of you, I mean, there is a need here to see um, a situation, a certain person and, and truly see their behavior for what it is. And that might be very painful with the 10 of swords. 
And this has nothing to do with being in denial, guys. It doesn't. It has to do with, again, I'm hearing learning. That's life, right? Gaining wisdom. And the thing about the hangman is that it learns through experience. So many of you, you're learning through experience at this time. There is maybe something very difficult to accept about, about someone, something. But listen, I mean, the hardest part is truly over. Meaning for many of you, you've already gone through this. You've already gone through this. There is just a need I'm hearing to see your experience or what it is that you have been through or what is going on, okay, for for what else it is. Like right now I'm getting, um, like I'm being reminded about this life purpose report that I did a while back. And uh, please do bear with me as I recall what this was exactly about because I'm being reminded of it right now. So in this report, I, what I do in these, what I, I don't do these anymore, but I do, I do want to pick, pick these up and, and start doing life purpose reports and even start sharing with you, um, what it is that I do through like uh, here through YouTube, a video or something to, so you guys uh, can learn from that. <clears throat> and also, um, so that I can share my, my work with you guys. Um, so in, a life purpose report, I call these specialty reports and I don't use tarot cards. What I do is I go into a shamanic journey and I tap into your energy and I extract everything that I can. It's kind of like a vacuum. I go in there and I'm like, and then I'm left with like this puzzle box. Think about it like that of energy. And, um, I have, I piece it all together for you. And there's impressions, there's visuals, there's so much that I pick up uh, psychic uh, information <clears throat> of all kinds, okay? Sensory as well, um, clair uh, clairvoyant visions. And um, with this particular person, I tapped into them and there was uh, psychological abuse I saw abuse of a certain degree, let's just call it that. And um, what I do with these reports is that I create a, a, a visual with a bunch of pictures of what it is that I saw. And uh, I do my very best to translate, uh, to depict, to interpret what it is that I got. And I send that to the client, to my client. <sighs> And it's kind of like a psychoanalysis. I send it to them without uh, telling them what I think it is. And I tell them, watch this and tell me what you think. And um, this person, um, I asked them, is there anybody in your life that you would uh, classify as a psychopath or a sociopath, as a narcissist? And... Uh, they responded and said, well, there is one person that um, I know for sure psychologically affected me, and it's my mother, they said. But I wouldn't necessarily classify them as a narcissist, a sociopath. I don't think they're that extreme. And that was very significant for me, okay? Because that's the hangman. You see, the hangman is all about a certain perspective. And the reaction that I got from her did not uh, match up with the severity of the psychological abuse that I was reading on her. So um, that told me a lot, okay? It uh, told me she was numb. So maybe that's of significance here, okay? And again, there's different degrees 
of, of, of severity or of your, depending on your situation, I'm not saying this is exactly what you're dealing with, but just, um, it, what's important here that I'm pointing out is just the perspective and the need to expand, okay, that beyond that perspective at the present moment. And um, the way that I, exp uh, I explained it to the client is this. It's like... It's like, um, I said, imagine a, a, a little kid, okay, that goes to the doctor. If you remember, there, there is, they, there's usually a poster on the wall at the pediatricians, at, at, the kid, at the doctor's office, and the doctor will ask you, will ask the child, you know, how, how bad is your pain? And there's a bunch of faces, right? Different colors. Uh, it might be like, mm, and then, you know, the worst pain is somebody like, Ooh, you know, it just shows like a face that's in distress. And the first face might be yellow, you know, it's bright and it might have a smile and, you know, it just gets worse from there. And then it ends with like red. <laughs> it's like, ooh, very intense. And I told her, the wound, okay, that I'm seeing in you, it's towards the severe, towards the red. And if you would look at it like this, if I was a doctor and you were coming into my office and I asked you, and I'm seeing a wound, right? I'm hearing, let's say that this wound, let's say that this, um, let's say that this wound is a cut that you have on your, let me turn this off. It's a cut that you have on your, a visible cut on your leg. <clears throat> and I'm looking at it. It's visibly, it's open. I can see your flesh. And you point to the happy face or the, or maybe it's orange, okay? Because, you know, it's like yellow and then it goes to orange. It's like the happy colors first. Um, you, you're pretty much doing that. You're, you're, you're pointing your reaction, your perception of your wound, of your experience, of how much this has affected you is a happy face where the wound that I'm seeing, the experience, okay, that uh, you have just been through and how it has affected you is actually a red, but that person is unaware. And you could say, why is that? Why do they not know what they've just been through? And I, and I use this as an example to further help my client understand. What would be a reason um, a patient would uh, describe their pain as minimal when they have a severe wound? One of the reasons could be shock. You know, maybe there's nerve damage. Do you see? There's nerve damage. Uh, it, which causes numbness. And again, we go back to the shock. Um, and that's pretty much what I told her. What I see here in your reactions, what I'm getting, it tells me that you are in a sense uh, numb at this present moment. Which just uh, further um, shows the, the severity of how much this has impacted you. So, um, that's kind of like what we have here, guys. So pretty much with this client, you know, the healing that she had to do the healing. Okay. Um, the work, that she had to do was to expand her perspective on how a situation and experience, a uh, trauma she went through in her life really affected her. And it is that, okay, that um, awareness there, reaching that understanding 
that was going to help her heal. How? By examining how has this affected me? Well, I see how it has made me sad. It has made me sad. Maybe it's made me a, a little bit depressed. Um, you know, it has made relationships difficult, but there's a need to go deeper. How has this affected you psychologically? Okay. And what are those symptoms? Ne having to sit down, we could say, and um, one by one identify the symptoms, confusion, dizziness, detachment, it, how, emotionally, how has this affected you? So I also like to explain it like this. It's like dimensions, guys. Think about it like, uh, think, um, think about like 2D and 3D, 4D or whatever. Depending on what dimension you're in, you're going to see something different. But it's all the same thing, isn't it? Let's say we have a circle. This circle, okay, this is going to, the sphere is going to look different in every dimension. So we can also look at this situation like this. Here, I, you are, you're only looking at it from like a 2D and 3D perspective. There is a need to expand and see more sides of this situation which is going to give you what a, a view of different angles here. That's what you need to do. I hope that I made sense there. <sighs> How are you going to do this? By loving yourself? By paying attention to yourself? Tending to your needs? and uh, focusing on your goals. This is something beautiful that is happening here, guys, because you are, and, and you know, guys, this, doing this is not, it's not just going to um, help you realize how much something has affected you. It's also going to help you in that process, guys, you're going to discover things about yourself that you didn't know. Beautiful things, guys, that are precious. That's why, look, didn't I say I thought that Queen of Cups was the Empress? The Empress is here. is going to help you trust yourself, trust your intuition. It's going to uh, expand your knowledge. I'm hearing about uh, people, relationships, uh, behavior, I'm hearing. And it's really going to be eye-opening and inspiring, guys. And it's really going to motivate you because you know why? is going to allow you to see yourself in a different way. I mean, because you've been really hard on yourself. Maybe, you know, you've thought that there was something wrong with you. Maybe it's not like a thought that's constantly in your head, but subconsciously is where these things are active. And this is going to allow you and help you release a lot of pain, guys, and suffering. and is going to give you so much freedom. I'm hearing as well as independence, guys. And it's really going to enrich your life and the relationships in it and those to come. But most importantly, guys, it's going to fill you with so much self-love because again, this here is going to help you see, I'm hearing yourself, in a different way, in a better way, in a clearer, in a clearer way. 
with the high priest disguise. I feel like spiritually as well is going to, you're going to grow so much spiritually, guys. It's almost as if it's like you're expanding your universe. You're expanding your universe, guys. And that's a beautiful thing. There's just so much beauty, guys, that I see here. Continue doing what it is that you're doing. Continue doing. Do not stop. Keep going. Let's see what is going on around you. What is going on around you? So usually what I do is like, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? Who is they? They is anybody else that uh, is involved here. Anybody around you, okay? Somebody that is involved in this situation. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Here we have the Eight of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, guys, you see? Listen, this is either somebody that you have walked away from, okay, a situation you've walked away from, or, or somebody at this present moment is, uh, I'm hearing, walking away, or maybe this is not about walking away, this is about moving on with their lives, okay, no matter whether you're, you're a part of their life or not, this is about just moving on, moving on. You see, and that's the thing about uh, in this person's life purpose report, she had um this uh, my client had actually made up with uh, with their mother they they had like reconciled or something which you know i did not discourage that but i could tell that through that energy read that i did it uh it wasn't uh her wound, it will not be tr fully healed until she brings awareness to it. And I always say the first step in healing is awareness. Before you can heal, you have to have awareness. It's like what they say, the truth will set you free. I truly do believe that. I believe that the mind heals, guys, through understanding. The mind is powerful, guys. I, I don't feel like the mind gets enough credit in the spiritual world. It's like discarded, you know. Uh, but the mind, guys, the brain is a strong spiritual center, guys. And it has the power to heal your body and heal your soul through truth, through understanding. It's a powerful thing, guys. It's a powerful thing. So, uh, yeah, with this, and again, I'm being reminded of this because I feel like these, those dynamics there that were present in that life purpose report are present here in some way and somehow. So that's what this person was doing. You know, it's like, oh, um, in fact, you know what they told me? They said, I don't want to focus on that in the life purpose report. I feel like I've already dealt with that and I would like to focus on something else, which I, I could sit here and tell you all about it. I already knew that was her going to be her reaction. But um, yeah, we went over, we went over this. Um, and pretty much what she was doing in that very moment was, uh, okay, so there I've resolved this. It's time to make peace and uh, move on. Well, you can't really truly, truly move on. We could say heal uh, and, until, I'm hearing until you know what happened. You know, a, a lot of people's wounds, guys, a lot of the wounds that people are carrying, people don't even know that they have. So it's an issue of, uh, of awareness. It's, it's, uh, it has to do with uh, how aware an individual is. So what are they thinking? What are they feeling? I see somebody that is moving on with their lives. And look, the Seven of Swords is there. What is the Seven of Swords? The Seven of Swords is somebody getting away with something. So there at the present moment, guys, there is somebody, okay? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? There is somebody here, guys, that, uh, and you know, sometimes, <sighs> the person that is wounded is not the only one that needs awareness. Sometimes is the, the abuser that needs that needs to be enlightened about their behavior 
Like this is how much this has affected me. It's like, oh yeah, I, I see it on the surface, but no, 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 no. This has affected me psychologically, emotionally, physically. It has affected me in, in so many ways and being able to put that into words and identify exactly and point those things out, guys. And showing somebody. So that's what we have. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Somebody is moving on with their lives, getting away with something. They're moving on with their lives. That could be, I'm hearing you as well being in a situation where I mean, you, you don't know the big, you don't see the big picture. And you know, the things, the thing with this kind of stuff, guys, is very, it's insidious. It's, it's, it it uh, affects you. Slowly, 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 slowly throughout your entire life. This is the kind of stuff where people get depressed. They're sad. They think there's something wrong with them and they don't know why. Why is this happening? And they don't know. It's because of a certain experience, a certain person that they might have right in front of them that they don't, uh, that they're not uh, fully seeing the full scope of. Look, here we have this Ten of Swords. It's important, guys, for... Like right now I heard, I'm not telling you to hold grudge, hold a grudge, no. It's, uh, look, and we see it here, guys. Look, you see that seven of swords and then we see that 10 of swords. Look, this person is leaving like da, 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 da. You see? And what are they, what are they looking back on? They're looking back on this 10 of swords and that 10 of swords is somebody that has been viciously attacked. So that's what we have here, guys. Who, who? I'm hearing this is somebody that you you had made you feel or made you feel like you were the problem. This is, or this is a situation that you always felt uh, maybe that you were to blame. Like it's your problem that you have to deal with. No. I mean, yes, but no. This for many of you could be a past relationship with the Eight of Cups, somebody that it has been long gone from your life. Or it's a situation that you have long gone, um, hearing, moved on from, but that is still affecting you today. And this is the reason why, guys. This is the reason why. Somebody walked away or is walk or is attempting to walk away. I'm hearing with their hands uh, clean. I didn't do anything here. Maybe this could, it's manifesting in your life like that's not my fault. That's not my problem. Some this person, whoever this is saying that. Somebody that is not taking accountability. I'm hearing that pretends. That's that's what they're thinking. That's what they're feeling. What is this? We have the two of wands and then we have the sun card and it's reversed. The two of wands. And then the sun card. I mean, this situation here has taken power away from you. And we can we can see that power as, um, as just limiting, uh, as maybe restricting, I'm hearing, the flow of light in your life. What does that mean? You see how the sun card is reversed? The sun card is about awareness, which goes very well with what I'm telling you guys. And look, it's reversed. 
So this is like, uh, the, it's kind of like, think about clouds in front of a sun. It's like you can see, but you can't fully see clearly. So it's kind, you know, like think about a, a day like that where it's sunny and then all of a sudden there's clouds that block the sun. It, get, it gets, it, it's, uh, you see that color that, uh, what it looks like? So it dims, the, it dims the light a little bit. So, um, for many of you, this is, uh, what this person uh, has done or, or the energy the situation has. It's, um, in a sense, uh, tainted your perception, your vision. And with the two of wands, there's like a block. It has uh, blocked you, blocked you from seeing further. It blocked you from seeing further. It has blocked you from seeing further. This, okay, has certainly for many of you had uh, an effect, okay, on you, on your life, on your actions. It's like, again, think about what I was telling you guys earlier about go, you know, walking into a doctor's office and there's a bloody mess there and your leg is cut. And you're saying that there is only, that your pain is a number one. For one to 10, how much pain? Uh, one or two, what? You see, and it's important to ask those questions. You see, there's a purpose why I wanted the client to share with me. You see, there's a reason why I send, you know, uh, visuals. It's like a mini video. What do you think about this? And I'm there like, okay, taking notes, like, okay. And um, it's simply to uh, gain uh, perspective. How are they seeing things? How does that align with what I fo have found and discovered? <sighs> so it's like that, you know, what do you think happens to that person? If they say, oh, I, you know, I don't, uh, you know, uh, maybe, you know, and the thing, maybe the wound is internal. Let's look at it like that. But there's nerve damage underneath. It appears to be fine. It appears to be fine. Um, and the person walks out of there or takes their kid. Okay, no, they look fine. They're saying that nothing hurts, you know, they're the pain of one or two. Come on now. And they're not bleeding, you know, they're fine. And they walk out that there, okay is going to affect. I'm hearing how fast they move forward. I'm hearing how high they can jump. It's going to um, negatively influence this, uh, I'm hearing your performance, how you see yourself. So you see, it's like, uh, I'm hearing it's like walking out uh, walking out of the optometrist, if you've ever been there, if you wear glasses, you go and they put this uh, um, liquid in your eyes that blurs that you know blurs your vision, and you have to walk out of there with some like really dark sunglasses, and uh, it gets you know a little blurry. Your eyes get sensitive, so it's kind of like that. You see how that there, those conditions will affect your experience in life, the way you interact with the world, the way you see the world, you see how it really has a huge impact. So that's kind of like what I'm getting here, guys. This is one way that this has affected you. It has created a lot of blocks. It has created a lot of mental blocks as well. I'm hearing where you kind of get stuck. And um, I do feel like this person is um, aware of this because look, we see it here. The seven of swords is a thief. It's somebody that tries to get away. And here is somebody that has just committed, I'm hearing a crime, has just committed um, something bad, has just abused somebody, has just betrayed someone, has just hurt somebody, done something negative to somebody else. done something shameful and 
And it's shameful because the Seven of Swords is here as well as the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords, uh, why do you feel like you have to hide this? You know, when you have to hide your behavior, your intentions or what it is that you're doing or what you've done, it's because it's bad. And it's because what? You know it. So um, with the Six of Pentacles, guys, I, I do feel like this is, uh, there is a need I'm hearing to... Uh, There is, there is a need to, to acknowledge that, maybe. And that in itself can be difficult, right? We have the six of, uh, the six of wands, and then we have the death card. You see the six of wands, guys. The six of wands is telling me that you're gonna do this. You're, you're, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna get it. You're, you're in that hangman position. The, whatever conditions you're in right now that might seem unfavorable, I'm hearing are, are ideal for you to get out. Look at it, it's right here. Yes, look, the world card. For you to get out of a particular cycle in your life There is a, a cycle because that's what ha that's what happens, you know, with these things is um, you keep maybe you could, you know, continue to repeat certain cycles and you're not even aware of it. You're not even aware of exactly what you're doing wrong or what's going on. And look, there it is. It's the hangman. The, whatever conditions you are in at the present moment that seem inconvenient are ideal. OK, for you to finally I'm hearing gain this bigger perspective to gain this big perspective guys the big picture i'm hearing and and uh get this wheel moving here guys get this wheel moving back in your life i'm hearing to align yourself with your destiny to align yourself with a, a better future a better reality it's here guys so continue doing, I'm hearing the work that you're doing, that inner healing. And you're going to do that, guys, simply by focusing on yourself. I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm seeing that book again. And I'm hearing, tell Virgo, they're this book that they're having to pick up. I'm hearing, and make time to read. And I'm hearing, that is where the answers lie. It, uh, you will be able to do this by not dismissing, okay, how it is that you feel and not allowing other people to tell you what really truly happened, okay? This is about your experience. What was your experience? How did you feel? Um, what it's, it's about that, guys. It's about acknowledging what you went through and how things felt for you and, and, and not, uh, allowing others okay to to tell you what you went through or what you experienced so future energy future energy holy spirit future energy for virgo all right so we have the six of swords all right so the six of swords is look i'm trying to move on from this i don't want to you know i don't want to revisit this look it's bringing so um, for many of you, this is future energy. So listen, 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 listen. This is not a negative reading. This is not a negative outcome, guys. Okay. No, 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 no. There's a need to stop looking at things like that because when you think at, about things like that, you're, that is actually negative. Okay. That, that mentality there. Because this is just, um, this is just bringing awareness, guys. All right. So the six of swords is reverse. So, the Six of Swords is, uh, in its reverse, it, I, I feel like you are going to feel like you can't, like, just, uh, <sighs> there's a couple of things. I feel like um, there will be some anxiety about revisiting certain things with the Six of Swords because I feel like, I'm hearing either you have felt, you felt, you have felt, okay, like you've already moved on from this, and the last thing you want to do, I'm hearing, is go back to revisit whatever that was. And that nine of swords is here. You see how this is a nightmare? 
I'm hearing, let that be the first clue. Let that be the first clue. Let that be the first clue that lets you know that there's something really wrong here. I'm hearing when you can't go back, when something makes you uncomfortable, when something uh, feels, I'm hearing threatening or something feels scary or an it, you know, it, it unnerving in some way. I'm hearing let that be the first clue that there's something wrong there. So taking all of that in, guys, taking all of that in. You have to go back. I mean, but you, you, you're, you're, you're going back to, uh, you are, think about it like this. You're going back, guys. but it, it, it's only to meet yourself. I mean, it's only to meet yourself, a feeling. And that's important, guys, because in doing that, guys, you're, um, show, you, you are telling yourself that you're not alone. Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords says, guys, that it looks scary. It it looks scary, scarier than what it really is, because it's a nightmare. And what's a nightmare? A nightmare is not real. And again, guys, take all of that into consideration. Write it down. I'm telling you, that's what you need to do. You need to write it down. Sit down. And make the time to just sit in your feelings and think about. Um, I mean, your past relationships or whatever this is. Maybe you don't know exactly what it is. Just sit down and reflect. Allow your intuition to guide you. We saw the high priestess. Allow your intuition to guide you. Trust your intuition. Trust spirit to guide you to the answers. And write it down. What do you experience? What are you feeling? I mean, some of you might feel nauseated. That's a clue. Write it down. And then look up symptoms. What is, you know, and then you'll realize I'm here and you'll, you'll see how much something has affected you. And that I'm hearing awareness of you is going to give you an awareness of the world around you and the people in it. And that's where we have the sun guys. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Look, six of soils. The last thing I want to do is go back there. I don't want, I don't want to. It's actually going to be a very pleasant uh, experience I'm hearing once it's done. Because here we see actually that you haven't moved on from a particular thing. Not because you don't want to, not because you're stuck I'm hearing, but because you overlook something. Because um, you had to, only because you 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 need to expand okay your uh perception and awareness of what you truly experienced and then like right now i'm hearing like somebody like i know you've seen it in the movies you know and i'm talking i'm, I'm using a movie here as a reference because uh i know you've seen you've seen a movie like this okay where you know Time passes, right? And then you find, a person finds something out. What? And then that knowledge there allows them to see the past, the present, and certainly will help them, uh, will, will, will allow them to see, I'm hearing the future in a different way. It's not, it's not as bad as you think. This is something that is going to bring you so much happiness that it's going to enrich your life, that it's going to motivate you, that um, I'm here and imagine those clouds that I talked about earlier that all of a sudden shifted and, and you know, when uh, covered the sun. Think about those clouds disappearing and the, the sun shining bright again over your life. 
I mean, it's going to be a, a feeling, okay, that uh, you're you're going to welcome, that you're going to embrace. And that right there, guys, is going to bring you happiness. I'm telling you, it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you happy, guys. Oh, my goodness. You're strong enough to do this. You're strong enough to do this. And again, if it feels like this, just to revisit it, that is a sign of how bad something truly was. But again, it's not enough knowing I went through something bad. The healing here is going to come from knowing exactly, I'm hearing from the low width, from the knowing how this has affected you psychologically, the process is there. How has this changed my brain? Being able to identify, okay, th those changes, those blocks, those, those limiting beliefs, for example, how has this affected me physically, my health, being able to narrow that down guys, to something specific, to specifics, not just, yes, I was hurt. No, 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 no. You see that process there, guys, is, is needed to expand your perception of you and your awareness. And that is all you need, guys. I'm hearing to get you unstuck, to get rid of that stuck feeling or that thing that you feel like you can't get rid of. It's like, what is it? You can do it. This is going to heal your heart. This is going to heal your wounds. This is going to make you stronger. This is going to um, illuminate you. I'm hearing about why you do or do not do certain things, about why you feel this way or don't. And we have the Six of Cups, guys. The Six of Cups is about memories. Memories, take memories into account, okay? Okay. Take memories into account. This for some of you could be about um, a child. It could be about um, your childhood. This is really guys going to make, is going to bring you so much love and so much peace because the six of cups guys is going to help you treasure guys. This is future energy. You're going to treasure every moment in your life you it's going to strengthen the relationships that you have and is going to help you build stronger relationships and connections with people is going to make you a happier person a more loving person it's um, going to uh, motivate you and inspire you. You're going to want to grow and expand it and, and it's going to feel good doing it. Like, I'm, look, this is a person that is playing a guitar. So this, I'm hearing, this is like a person that just grabs a guitar and says, I'm just gonna learn to play this guitar. And, and it's not going to be stopped by the certain mental blocks. Oh, I can't do this, 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 or that. Like those blocks are gone. I'm here. You can just pick anything up and it's just going to feel good. It's going to flow guys. The King of Cups. This is, um, emo emotional evolution guys. All of this work I'm hearing that you're doing at this time. Don't give up on yourself. Keep doing it. Keep doing it guys. It's all going to pay off. I see all of this guys paying off. And oh my God, I see you see, having um, clarity of mind, guys. I see you being able to, um, I mean, register and take things in and, and, and process situations on, on a completely uh, different level than before, guys, which is going to feel incredibly empowering, guys, because you're going to uh, have control over your emotions. You're going to under, understand yourself and you're going to understand others, guys. I'm hearing, and it's going to be very hard 
for anyone to take that away from you, for anyone to put you down, for um, anyone I'm hearing to make you feel that way again. Nine of Pentacles and then this Emperor and then this Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, guys. This is long term. This is something that very soon you're going to be done with, guys. And as a result, it's going to have a positive impact effect on the remaining of your life. The remainder of your life is going to enrich your life. In so many ways, you don't even understand. And it's going to give you control. It's going to give you control. It's going to give you power. And that's a good thing, guys. I'm hearing because it says that uh, you will be able to direct your life in the direction that you want easily and effortlessly. I'm hearing simply by setting your mind to it and saying, this is what I'm going to do. So you're going to, again, there's this confidence, guys, that I see here, this independence of feeling like I can do anything. And I'm telling you, there's something about uh, the, the relationships in your life that this here, okay, these actions that you're taking now, your relationships are, are really going to make a, a big difference you yourself okay it's like it's like going to put you on a totally different timeline there's so much love and appreciation for self and 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 others guys beautiful energy let's get some closing messages from let's get some from the self-love oracle if you want to book a reading with me guys you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box it's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me all right closing messages for virgo a closing message for virgo we have find balance stop and breathe Oh, guys, breathing is, is very important, okay? So right now, it's important to do everything that I told you guys, you know, just like bringing awareness to yourself, like deep, deep awareness, but an understanding. And another thing that you're going to be doing at this time is finding healthy ways uh, to, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, alleviate some of your symptoms. Uh, finding, okay, things like breathing, okay, breathing every day guys simply doing it 10 times okay breathing very deeply into your stomach i like to tell people imagine like there's lungs inside your stomach and when you and breathe in direct that air okay into your stomach and as you're as you're breathing in imagine those lungs inside your stomach expanding expanding and you should feel your stomach really stretch okay and doing that guys um 10 times that there guys that simple little exercise there that takes a few minutes it will um rebalance you stop and breathe reality is shaped by what we believe doesn't that go reality is shaped by what we believe take a deep breath reassess and realign let go of what doesn't help the situation interesting it says, find balance. Even moderation requires moderation. Swinging from one extreme to another can put one out of balance. Restore your peace from within. So, I mean, this find balance could be saying that at the present moment, right? There might be, you might have to like continuous, continually um, like um, what is it? Um, not control, but uh, regulate your energy. So it's it's important for you not to go, um, to keep your, your energy. I'm hearing somewhere in the middle always, okay? That is um, a something you should strive for, something you should pay a lot of attention to. 
Okay, so not getting like super uh, inactive and like super active, okay? Not being super, super, super happy or being like super, super low. It's like finding that balance there in the middle, guys, okay? So it's a delicate balance. It's a delicate balance. And again, it just means that every day you might have to do something different, guys, to regulate your energy. Breathing is a great exercise. Stop and just breathe. Uh, take it easy at this time for sure. You need a lot of love, a lot of comfort. Don't try to, I'm hearing race through this. Don't try to race, race through this. Think about yourself as this little child that's there. You wouldn't tell that child, look, get over this quickly, would you? No. So think about yourself. Treat yourself as a child right now. We have right. Yep. I've been telling you guys that. Having an outlet to express one's thoughts leads to more clarity and awareness of oneself. Doesn't this go? My goodness. Having an outlet to express one's thoughts leads to more clarity and awareness of oneself. Put pencil on paper, explore your inner world. Oh my goodness. No, you are safe. You are safe, guys. You're safe to do this. Protection is always available to you. You have all the resources that you need, both within you and around you. All right, let's get some more cards from, let's get one from here. There we go. That's just an extra card. This is the key oracle. Let's see. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Beautiful reading, guys. The key oracle. Virgo. Let's see. Closing message for my dear Virgo. It says childhood wound. Look at that. Childhood wound, guys. I love pulling oracle cards at the end because it just validates and confirms and wraps up the entire reading, what I've been telling you guys. Your inner child is looking to heal so you can move on by understanding the situation in a new light. Going within to heal requires self-love and compassion. Gaining perspective through energy work or therapy can be very helpful to assess tools to empower your inner child. Retrieve, retrieve, retrieve. Look, old wounds. Is there, guys. Look, old wounds. We attract what we need to heal. Often we find ourselves attracting the same type of people or situations that are not the best for us until we choose to find the common denominator of what we need to heal and release. The cycle will continue. Go within to heal the pain layer by layer. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys. Look, you see it here, guys. We attract what we need to heal. Often we find ourselves attracting the same type of people or situation that are not the best for us until we choose to find the common denominator of what we need to heal and release. The cycle will continue. Go within to heal the pain layer by layer to find joy again. You can do this. Oh, you can do this. You can do this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I'm going to get one last message from this. It's a, it's an affirmation deck, I believe. So I'm going to leave you with an affirmation, guys. Let's see. It is, this is the wings of wisdom. All right. Wings of wisdom. Closing message, Holy Spirit, for my dear Virgo. Closing message. And it says, praying mantis, correct action, sacred practice, find your inner peace, affirmation, wisdom rises from the stillness within me. <sighs> find peace in this stillness. It says, tune into the calm center within. From a place of stillness, you will be able to make strong decisions. Trust in the intuitive wisdom that emerges spontaneously from within. Even if it takes you by surprise with its intensity, do not give others the opportunity to threaten what matters to your heart. Take your creative expression and soul work seriously enough to safeguard it from praying eyes or judging minds. Patience can help you relax into your 
inner knowing so that you do not try to force anything and therefore know how to act with wisdom. Sometimes a soft no is not enough. You can be forgiving and compassionate, but still understand when to set a firm, unwavering boundary. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.